All right, guys, we're going to measure this camshaft real quick. And, and now what we're going to use is this mic stand. So Michael's going to help me out here. Grab the micrometer, and we're going to set it up in the mic stand. Typically, what I like to do is put it for the camera, flip the mic around the other way. There you go. And then you're going to clamp that down. They don't need to be, they're rubber padded. They don't need to be, you know, super, super, super rigid. But then he has the adjustability here to move it into whatever position is comfortable for him. So in this position, just for the purpose of the camera, we went this way. If he wanted to have it like this, then the mic would have to be flipped around so that the, the knob wasn't in his way, just in case it's uh, restricting you or so on. Does that make sense? We'll uh, kind of straighten this out a little bit too for the camera there. See how we got a nice even edge there? Unlocked, open up. So let's uh, let's flip the camshaft to the back side there. And I like what you're going to do. Let's just measure the end of that journal there. So what he's going to do is just get in there. He's using the ratchet to come up on the piece. Just gets a, a nice click. And then what you could do is you can lock this down and then uh, support the piece and slide it out of the mic. Okay? Now, if, if he's in a, a good spot, another thing you should be able to do is you should be able to pull the piece in there. We're a little loose. Can you hear that clicking? as it goes Cause look it's button up being safe oh you know what our problem is no 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 this this is less than an inch so we need a zero to one inch mic we just grab that quick without uh doing that okay we'll do that thanks chance so now since we know that now you you would have had a service manual out and you would have had an idea of what you're thinking this measurement needs to be. Does that make sense? Or you take your digital veneer caliper and get really close with it. Make sense? So I'd just open this thing quite a bit. Notice how easy it is to fail. We were just right on the edge. How many people bet this is going to be, you know, 990s? Somewhere in that range? Now it's working. Once you think you're good, lock your sleeve. And the camshaft is kind of hard to do with the camshaft floating in the air like this. This would be easier to have the camshaft on the bench and bring the mic to it. Do you get what I'm saying? Because of, you know, this would be especially nice if this was sitting in a set of V-blocks. You know, or something supporting it. Okay, let's take a look and see what you came up with. Uh, eight. Go ahead and write it down here. It's eight, so <coughs> way out. Oops, we're way out. Mm -hmm. And then you got 50. 50? Yep. Well, the top one's 50. Yeah. Oh. And then uh, 24. So that'd be. What are the odds? What are the odds? Was it the same thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. So, uh,. Now, what we could do is check this against, like I said, veneer caliper see if we are roughly close here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a feel on it and see if I get something similar. I'm going to come this direction, a little more comfortable for me. Now, what I did is I did it twice, and I got 850, and I got 23. 
We're about a thousand different. Try and feel. Try and do that again and see what you get. Unlock it. It's got about one thousandth of an inch difference, there and that's what we're going to practice and do here right did now. Did you do this side? Oh, could have been. I could have done so the opposite side. side. So let's try that. I did the opposite side. I had to it. Okay. Is there a chance too that dirty parts will be measured wrong? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how about how about this? The rust. This rust. How far off could that throw it? Rust will usually make a part do what as far as measurement? Bigger. Bigger. Hey, hey, hey. I think Michael, uh, oops. Yeah. Let me see here. Do you think you were on that rust? I might have been. Because I'm getting a lot smaller measurement, so I'm going to move it to the rust. We'll have to see. Why don't you see if you can duplicate that measurement? And what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to go ahead and practice.